What's good guys? Go to EasyNPC.com for the cheapest and safest way to get caps, weapons, items in Fallout 76. And links in the description down below. Use coupon code CHIEF for 5% off. So for this video, it's going to be on what I like to call the Loot Cave Glitch. Which is probably the fastest way to get XP and legendary weapons and armor in Fallout 76 that I know of right now. This is post patch 11, so you can do this right now. So the reason why I'm calling this the loot cave glitch is because what happens is that these enemies just keep respawning at this one point, just like the loot cave from Destiny, where these enemies are gonna be spawning in sometimes as legendaries, and it will give me a ton of XP and also legendary gear. So this is a extremely fast farming method for leveling up and also getting legendary script. We have gotten over eight three-star legendaries in like 30 minutes. It was ridiculous how fast we were able to farm this and this was after patch 11. And also it's before what the hotfix they're trying to add into the game that is supposed to increase the rate of legendary spawns. So this is at its bare minimum for legendaries that's supposed to be spawning and is giving me this that fast. You are able to get four ghouls to spawn in about every 45 seconds. Now each ghoul gives approximately 134 XP. So when combined you're gonna be getting like 536 XP for just killing all four ghouls and then if you add all the modifiers for earning XP you could be earning XP even faster and that's every 45 seconds in addition to that you're getting a ton of legendaries to spawn in so let's get in on how to do this first off you're gonna need a horde event Ghoul hordes work the best because they also get a faster spawn rate than other enemies and also they can hit max level no matter where you are. So if we are in the mire, usually you only get a level 42 legendary to come out. But because of this method, it goes actually for the max level of the horde enemies which happens to be in the 60s for ghouls. Next off. You're going to want to isolate the legendary or get him into a glitch spot. So we were lucky enough where he spawned in a glitched location. This is actually very common in Fallout 76 for enemies to be glitched out. If you cannot get this to happen, just keep him alive in a corner. Maybe build your camp and put him inside a little box so that way he can't escape. But we were fortunate enough where we got our legendary ghoul to spawn inside a cliff where he could not get out. So what ends up happening is that he will spawn his horde, which is why it's called the horde event. And this will happen each time you clear his horde. So as long as you keep killing all the ghouls that spawn in because he's there, you're going to keep getting more and more horde enemies to spawn in with a chance to spawn in as a legendary, which ghouls have an insanely high chance to spawn as a legendary, and because we were able to have this put together, we were able to farm legendaries and XP at an alarming rate. Once you have the legendary horde boss isolated by himself, you're going to want to just kill all the other enemies. So just hunt them all down, look around, their spawn points can be all over the map as you can see we are trying to find them. And then once you have them all cleared out, the enemies will start spawning at one location. And we figured out it was right at this cliff and it was not moving. So all you have to do is just sit up top at a vantage point. We were sneaking, and then I just lay in with a Tesla rifle and kill all of them. Since we were on a team, I let him just shoot a couple of bullets that were explosive, so that way he can get the XP too. And Spider Games was able to level up at least 10 levels within that hour that we were playing, and it was crazy the amount of XP and legendaries that we were able to get. This method still can work even if you don't get the horde boss 
to be glitched out or isolated, you just need to keep him alive. Because as long as the boss is alive, he will keep spawning in his horde and you can just keep racking up the kills, XP, and the legendaries. All you have to do is just keep him alive. And that's basically it for the glitch. From there on, you, once you have him there, just keep killing all the hordes that he spawns in, rack up that XP, get all those legendaries, make up for the legendary script that is harder to get now, and there you have it. Hope all of you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and have a good day.